Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a Python program which will take input from the user as a keyword like Facebook, Reddit, YouTube or any of the keyword and then search your Google Chrome browser history, search for that keyword and if that keyword is found in any of the URL, it will delete it. Like let me explain you with an explanatory example like you have entered the keyword facebook so it will search your google chrome history www.facebook.com it's very obvious it will search and delete that it will also search some of the articles that have the title related to facebook like does Facebook have bad influence something like that it will search for that and then delete it so this is a fun project and you will actually see how easy this is so you don't need any external package so no pip installation required let's get straight to editor and start writing our code Okay, so first of all, let me import the required library SQLite 3 and regular expression. Then let me show you that where is the Google Chrome history file. Go to uh, file manager, go to C drive and then go to uh, users your name here and then go to app data there it is app data locals and then we have google here then chrome then user data then go to default and if you scroll down a little bit you will find the history database file here this is the database file which we'll edit to change the history in our chrome browser so let's copy this path and we'll first open the uh, database here we'll first establish the connection we'll connect to this database here and the file name was history then we'll point out to the cursor con dot cursor now i have already explained that what is the connection what is the cursor in my video where I have explained how the SQLite 3 database work if you haven't seen that go through that video it's there it's there on my channel I will also provide the link below then we'll create a variable ID which will firstly be assigned as 0 then we'll create a variable result and the value for result is true now while result which is true first uh, while result and we'll first make result false and we'll create a list ids is equal to zero first of all let's ask the user for uh, the input let's say x is equal to let's make some spaces here x is equal to str of uh, input enter the keyword and then for rows in c dot execute now here we are creating a for loop to iterate through our table 
and search for a related keyword so we will write select id comma url uh, from uh, urls where there should be some space here where url is something like then we'll provide our variable here now actually let's make it simple let's not take the input from the user let's simply be manually operated uh, let me provide the value here just say that uh, okay it's YouTube I want to search in my browser history for the keyword YouTube and then delete all the uh, URLs that are related to YouTube keyword okay so now we are into the loop firstly we'll print to see that whether anything is present or not now then we'll uh, take the ID of this um, URL or the entity and then we'll append this into this IDS list now let me first write this th then I will explain the whole code in one go okay so I have written the code let me explain you here first of all we have established the connection with our uh, history database file which is present at this address you can search in your system and provide the path here it is almost the same you just have to change the name here it will be same for all and then we'll uh, point out at the uh, cursor then we have created a variable id which is assigned 0 at first then we'll create a variable result which is firstly true and we'll create a while loop and then we'll uh, put this result as our condition then we'll create a ids list which is empty at first because this is the list in which all the urls will be stored in and then we'll create a for loop for rows rows is the variable in c dot execute or we are going through our database and searching for this keyword select id and url from urls where the url is related to this youtube keyword and then we'll uh, we are printing here to just see whether a keyword is present here or not and then we are first selecting the id and then we are appending this id's list which was firstly empty with the id of the selected url we are selecting the id because we'll use the ID then to delete this from our URLs database or sorry history database URLs table then we are executing many commands which is delete from URLs URLs is the table here where ID is equal to IDs which is this list having all the ID of the URL that we have to delete then we'll commit our changes or we'll tell the SQLite 3 package that we have done whatever we want to do just do the changes 
and then we have closed the connection so let's close this uh, sorry let's save this and go back to our folder actually I have opened the uh, PowerShell here so let's run this and okay okay so I have to pause the video because there was a error in my program which I was not able to find out now you must have heard about this phase in programming that sillier the mistake is the more time it takes to find it out so this was the case here uh, this should be backslash here while defining the path you have to provide the backslash and we are good to go let me run this okay the con is not defined uh, okay so there will be another n save this and okay it works and we are not having any entry or any browser history related to YouTube because I have already deleted this and first of all let's open our Chrome browser and access a few websites with YouTube uh, present in their URL now the first is home page of YouTube then let's open a few videos like I love Boon Bam and his videos and close this so we have accessed one now let's open Maz Zabrani again one of my favorite let's go back now let's run our script uh, database is logged ok actually the chrome browser must be closed while you are writing the uh, while you are executing the command so uh, row is not defined actually uh, it should be rows here save this and these type of typo errors happen a lot so there you can see this program has gone through our search history database and got these three uh, URL which were related to YouTube first was the home page then the two videos that we have visited so um, actually I would not be able to show you the result because it takes some time to uh, delete the entry from our search history so by the way you can try this on yourself and you will see the result after some time for sure okay so this is it for this video and this was a short fun project uh, without using any external package and in my channel I create such short but awesome projects so if you wanna try something like this or something better than this one so visit my channel and I'll meet you there bye bye